Just beyond the gate of Hyde Park to the right of the road stands a cabman's shelter. Any sauce on the sandwich? Uh, ketchup, please. The air was heavy with conflicting scents. Fried onions seemed to be having the best of the struggle for the moment, though plug tobacco competed gallantly. A keen analytical nose might also have detected the presence of steak and coffee. Driving a taxi is a very lonely job. You meet lots of people, but you never get to know them. It's a place to come and meet your mates. It's a place to come and socialise, chew the fat, grab a cup of tea and a sandwich. There you go, sir. Green shed's a good description. They were devised in the middle of the 19th century as a means of providing shelter for horse cabmen. Remember the horse cabmen was stuck out in the open in all weathers. A newspaper proprietor, George Armstrong, set up the cabman shelter fund. And the first one was in Acacia Road, just around the corner from this one. And within 25 years, there were 60 of them in London. This is um, one of the 13 surviving cabman shelters. They're all this particular size and shape, so they should take up no more space than a four-wheeled horse cab. You have your entrance in the side, ventilator on the, on the roof, and you see this, this black rail running around the outside. That was for tying a horse to. Originally, they were designed for cab drivers alone, but these days, they do serve the general public. Uh, I can bake on baguettes. I can bake. You got to remember, a lot of them work constantly on their own, so they come here to meet up, to ask for advice, to ask for help with certain problems. A lot of them come here just on wine from a day's work. Some people come here to ask advice for my mum. You know, like she's an agony aunt for the cab drivers. You know, it gives you that opportunity just to to let your hair down a bit from a hard day's gruel in the, in the heavy conditions of polluted London traffic. There is a little bit of community in here, yeah, you get to know a few people and it breaks up the day. It's more like a little family that um, people have problems, if someone is ill maybe, there's a little collection for them. Yeah, you can park up and then chat and whatever, yeah, it's nice, yeah. Oh, this is an Austin London taxi from 1934. These cabs were in service up until about 1952. So even then there was a need for some real shelter for a cabin. Just a windscreen, no window in the driver's door, open platform and you get the wind and the rain and the snow. You could sometimes literally freeze to death in a cab on a cold winter's night what we have inside these shelters are lots of drivers who not only have the knowledge but who bear witness to the city on a daily basis. The knowledge therefore that's contained within these tiny spaces that you may not even think there's anybody inside is absolutely immense. I've been commissioned as part of a one-year project to produce work in response to the history um, and living history of these shelters. The centre of the the local community, I suppose, like a focal point. Thank you very much. Yeah, look at that. Lovely. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Yeah.